Hey everybody, I hope you're having a happy and healthy day. Coming to you from San Diego, it's about 1.30 right now, and this is actually my first meal of the day. I haven't eaten yet, so what do we have on my plate? I got some eggs from a local farm mixed in with some onion and some tomato. Got an avocado here. I got lots of kale here, lots of kale. Now this is a deviation from what I would typically eat. Typically, this half of the plate would be much more carbohydrate heavy. Maybe I'd have some brown rice here. Maybe I'd have some oatmeal with some blueberries. But this is a deviation from what I would normally eat. And the reason is, is that my conditions change, just like just about everybody else. Our conditions have changed, we're more sedentary. So I want to introduce a concept to you that can absolutely change your life. And the concept is eating with purpose, which I see a lot of people not following this rule. So what I'd like you to think about is when you create a meal, think about what's on your plate and what is the purpose of each individual component of your meal. So what's the purpose of this kale? What's it doing in your body? What's its function? How is it reacting with the other components of your body? What hormones are these triggering? When I have the eggs, what's the purpose? So everything on the plate is leading me from A to B in the fastest way possible because what your body does all day, every day, is it creates jigsaw puzzles. Jigsaw puzzles just like what you see right now. Now, in our body, these jigsaw puzzles refer to anything that has a purpose, anything that has a function. So it could be an enzyme, it could be a hormone. Just like you see on the screen here, we have an enzyme which has four puzzle pieces. Now, in our body, the puzzle pieces, the puzzles can be tens of thousands of pieces large or they can be very small. So in this instance, we have this four piece puzzle and we get the pieces from the foods that we eat. So what you want is you would ideally, you would love a diet that has all of the puzzle pieces that can complete all the puzzles that your body needs. Now, if your diet is deficient, let's say in protein or it's deficient in minerals, now when your body wants to go create a puzzle, it can't do it because it's missing a piece. So we really wanna think about, do we have all of the components do we have all the puzzle pieces to complete our puzzle? So in my specific case, my previous diet, or my previous breakfast, which had a lot more carbohydrates, a lot more energy on this side of the plate, that previous diet matched my previous pur purpose, which was exercise, lots of exercise, lots of teaching classes, lots of movement. So now this new diet reflects my new goal, my new purpose, the carbohydrates they don't serve much of a purpose now because I'm mostly sedentary, not using my body a whole lot. So the conditions match the diet. So my challenge to you is to next time that you create a meal, think about what are you putting on your plate and what is it doing in your body? Are you, put, are you creating a meal that is matching a previous set of conditions? Are the things you're putting on your plate, are they specifically designed to get you from point A to point B as fast as possible? Really think about that. So team, it's about 1.30 and I am starving, so I'm gonna chow down on this and I'll be creating another video very soon which explains what are the different puzzle pieces and what is their purpose? So what does a carbohydrate do? Why would you put fats on your plate? What's the purpose of the greens? So I'll put all that together for you. So team, I hope you have a happy and healthy day and enjoy.